Number four. Ah, 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 ah. One lesson that I want you to turn to prayer. You are welcome to the End Time Truth Television, the channel for the lovers of truth, for the truth of the end time. So if you are a lover of truth, give us a subscription and God bless you. Shalom. Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus. How are you today? Um, missed you guys for some times. All right. Uh, I'm just going to be very brief here. Uh, the death of Mobad has been, um, people have been reacting, they have been generating all kinds of um, reactions from people around the globe and uh, most especially Nigeria. And uh, Nigerian pastors are not left out of it. The first one I brought to you was the statement uh, made by Jeremiah Omoto Fufenyu where he promised that he was going to aid the Nigerian police to to you know be able to unravel the mystery behind the death of the young man you know he promised that he was going to climb the mountain and uh, his prayer was going to um aid the policemen to finding the killers of mobad as it is allegedly said that some persons were behind his death and so in this video, we are going to, we are going to look at uh, two pastors, one of them, Tunde Bakare, and uh, the other one, uh, Brother Joshua Iginla. You know, they made statement. But then I, I'm going to read out to you the, the statement that was made by uh, Tunde Bakare, which was uh, slammed by um, Tonto DK. Tonto DK happens to be one of the popular Nigerian Nollywood uh, actresses. Um, who also recently veered into politics. And uh, coincidentally, Pastor Tunde Bakare also from the pulpit had veered into politics. Some times ago, he told us that uh, God promised him he was going to be either the 21st president of Nigeria, which means after Buhari, he was going to be the next president. Is it 21st or the 15th? I've forgotten. All right. So, um, before I... I, I show you what Tunde Bakare said. I'm going to read to you what um, Tunde Dike wrote on her Instagram page. She said, Dear Pastor Tunde at the T Bakare, I know when your colleagues are caught with their pants down in unholy sexual activities, we never hear your voice. You never speak nor preach about them. It comes to the death of a boy who is old enough to be your last born and you say he reaped the reward of his actions. What actions? Please, please, please keep the same energy with your corrupted colleagues as you just did today. It's the anointing of God upon your head that's making me not go off on this loose comment of yours. I've learned over the years that if you have nothing nice to say, keep mute. Don't talk at all. Preach your gospel and leave Mobad's name out of your ministration. I don't respect old age. I respect the wisdom you exhibit at old age. Hashtag zero destruction. Hashtag justice for Mobad. Hashtag Imole. Hashtag say no to bullying. Hashtag stop bullying. Now, so you might be wondering what um, Pastor Tunde Bakare actually said. Now, he made mention of um, Mubad and uh, he told people of, um, you know, what he thought about the lifestyle or the lifetime of the young man. Speaking about Mubad, uh, Pastor Tunde Bakare raised questions on the life Mubad lived, asking rhetorically, is Mubad a good name? My wife and I listened to a tape last night on Mubad. How many of you know Mubad? The Nigerian artist who died at 27, Mubad Bakare said, when he was drinking and smoking and associating with evil men, he did not know that the harvest would come so soon and that he would soon be cut down at the prime of youth. I am not blaming him. I am just telling you, is Mubad a good name? Mubad, M-O-H-B-A-D. All right. The, 
Now, even though that uh, the Lagos State Police Command has extremely bad cops and conducted an autopsy on him to investigate the cause of his demise. Now, so this statement from Pastor Tunde Bakare, I think, coincides with also what Joshua Iginla said about the lessons he has learned, you know, uh, uh, from the death of Mobad. Now, the thing is that I, in actually not being, being sentimental, uh, everybody who, you know, understand this, pray that you don't, you know, have your children distracted. The child was distracted. And uh, what Tunde Bakari was trying to say is that Mobad, if you remove the H from Mobad, it, it can translate to I am bad, all right? And uh, such name, well, people might, might tag it as a stage name. But the thing is that the difference here is that uh, the young man was not known to be a born-again Christian. So that may mean less to people who, um, who want to tackle Pastor Tunde Bakare. Now, there is also another artist, uh, Fino. I promise to show you uh, the tape of uh, uh, Joshua Iginla where he, he said he learned something uh, from the death of Mobad. But then there is something that is credited to Fino. Fino here said that he was told to join court or engage in ritual to blow. Fino, you know what it means to blow, to, to, to make it or to become very popular, to become very successful in what you are doing. So the, the report has it a popular rapper, Shibuzo Nelson Azubike, aka Fino, has said during his weird days as a struggling artist, he was advised to join a cult or engage in ritual if he wished to succeed in his career. According to him, he's never been a believer of quick success, but one who'd rather consistently put in hard work to achieve his goals. He stated this while counseling up and coming artists on dish desperation and the so-called easy road to success, but to rather strive genuinely to attain it. Following the death of Mubad and the controversy surrounding the unfortunate event, the discourse about artists' desperation for success being signed to record labels that exploits and subjects them all, them all forms of maltreatment when they attempt living has continued to gain waves online. Um, Ezege, as the rap star is also fondly called, advised young artists to checkmate their artists, their thirst for quick success, be weary of signing with just any label, any record label out of desperation, regardless of their terms and conditions, which most times are unfavorable to the artists. He explained when some of these label bosses sensed uh, desperation in these young talents, they capitalize on it and take undue advantage of them, making them sign contracts that will be to their detriment one way or the other. In his words, he said, some people look at us today and think we got it easy. Not at all, said the Igbo Rap Act. <laughs> In fact, I've never loved easy things before. Many people heard of Fino. You know, before many people heard of Fino, you know, I've had songs that no one knew exist. A couple of friends told me to blow. I must join. A couple of friends told me to blow. I must join a court or sacrifice something or someone. I told him the price is too much. I will never do such. I believe in myself and the power of hard work. I started little and today I thank God. Young talents need to relax. Do not be desperate about record deals or being on the spotlight. Keep working when it's time you will shine. Imagine begging a label to sign you. What kind of terms will they give you? They already know you are desperate and they will use you. At the beginning, you might not see it, but give it time, you will regret it. Nothing pays more than hard work and consistency. All right, so now this is a very timely advice. And uh, the, the issue is with people here, I was discussing with somebody today, and um, you know, it is very, very unfortunate that the things that uh, people in the past generation engaged into and they regretted it, and so many of them, their own families are still paying the price of what nonsense that they did in the past. Now, you know, at this point in time, this generation knew, mostly generation after 90, you know, generation from 90, uh, actually delving back into such things, you know, diabolism or courtism in order to make it fast. 
today Yahoo is a, is, is a selling point. And so that takes us back to what Tunde Bakale was trying to correct. Now, whether you, 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 know, you like it or not, whether you appreciate what he was trying to tell you or not, the truth is that you know, there are still a lot of young people that may still make the same mistake that the, the unfortunate you know, your, young man we are talking about in this video uh, went through more bad. A bit of desperation, he joined a group that he shouldn't have joined, and um, nobody is saying that he's a saint here. And nobody is also trying to vilify him or to call him bad names because he is dead. But not being emotional at all, people I think should also learn from his death. Unfortunately, when he was alive, he was crying and nobody spoke out. But now that he is dead, there is actually a, a, a song of his that I. You know i saw and which was very prophetic of what he was saying that when he will be gone people will, will like him more when he will be no more many people will love him more you know and he in in that uh, video he called everybody a walking dead so it's unfortunate he is gone but then the living must learn a lesson like uh joshua Ginla said he has learned in the death of mobad I'd like you to listen to Joshua Aginla as he explained what he learned from the death of Mubad. Imole. Oh, what a beautiful name. Light. A young man died in Nigeria and the whole internet is all ago. Uh, what's his name? Mubad. Strong. Strong one. So pathetic. A young, vibrant, talented young man. Six lessons I learned from the death of Mubad. Number one lesson. That you will always have enemies in this world. Whether you are good or you are bad. Some people are desperate. And they will always hate you. No matter what. People will hate you. People will hate you. People will hate you. They will hate you no matter how good you are. Number two, that people are very heartless. They will hate you in your death. They will hate you alive. And they will disrespect your dead body. When I saw the way they carved the boy's head in the coffin, a boy bigger than the coffin forced his head and burned the head treated the boys dead like a chicken then i know how few human beings can be nobody is worth your death stay and fight for your cause number three lesson i learned about the death of this young man that when people around you begin to cry for help Show them help. Don't show them help after they are dead. Help them while they are alive. Help them while they are alive. If people around the bad have shown help, have listened to him while he cried out, we will not be having this pain. We will not be having this shout. He was crying in his song. He was crying out everywhere. Family, defend your brothers. Fathers, defend your son. Defend your daughter. Defend. Mothers, defend your son. Defend your daughter. Hear me. When they complain, stand for them. There's nothing beautiful like family. Let them say you are showing family. Family, I don't care. I have said it here. I will stand by my children, stand by my wife, stand by my extended family. I don't care what you think about me. If I die today, some of you will not be here. You will leave and find another pastor. But my wife, my children, my family will stay by me. I will defend my family with my last blood. I don't care what you think about me and my family. My family is my family. Number four. Ah, 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 one lesson that I want you to turn to prayer. May you not be popular after your death. 
May you not be popular after your death. May you not receive help after your death. May people stand for you when you are alive. May people not stand for you when you are dead. Ah, I, how I wish that Nigeria stood for this boy while he was alive. Ah, 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 ah. May you not be popular after your death. May, may you receive help while you are alive. While you are alive. May you receive help. May you receive help. Sit down. Number five. I learned one serious mystery. That whether you are born again or you are not born again or you are a prophet or you are not a prophet when injustice is done against you your spirit will cry out ah it has never happened in the history of this country a secular singer died and people even president died people don't fight for them like this people stood up then i understand that the love of god is not for only those who speak in tongues you might not be born again our god is a god of justice when evil is done our god will rise up i have never seen where somebody died and the whole government say assume the body after being buried take it up we must investigate anybody who is fighting you in darkness they will run elter skelter there will be judgment on them never use your position to victimize anybody never use money to victimize anybody never use your influence to victimize anybody our god is the god of justice and when it is time for him to fight he will fight for the poor he will fight for an unbeliever he will fight for a believer he loves us equally okay brethren i i'm ending the video here uh, everything everything falls in place and i wish that you also will learn from this and um give god a chance in our lives so that god will have his way in case you are desperate to make it to the top i really don't get it i see half people sending me messages on whatsapp for me to give them a link to join illuminati <laughs> and freemason and you begin to ask yourself, do I, does it look like I am, I am a member of Illuminati when I actually have been speaking against those things? And somebody will, will, will after watching the videos, will ask me, please, do you know how to join? I want to join because the suffering is too much. See, the suffering, the reason why you're suffering is because that is what the devil wants you to do. Because he has actually sensed that when you are prejudged so much, you will bend to join that cult group. And once you join, you are you, you are going to be destroyed persevere persevere stay in god love god give your life to christ it is seeking first the kingdom of god and his righteousness first and at the end of it all these things shall be added unto you now all these things that may be added unto you may not include you becoming a billionaire but in god in christ jesus there is contentment for godliness with contentment the bible says is of great gain i leave you here in peace and i want to read your comments i want to um see your opinion here and kindly like the video and share it please god bless you give us a subscription if you have not done so before as i'll be meeting you in the next video till i come your way again in the next video i remain your brother in the lord and from me to you shalom